The agreement was no further than the line. No, no one's crashing through. Hang on. To come a quick closer, please. Hello. How does it feel to be free? Let all the cameras in. Everyone in? Yes, indeed. Okay. Mr. Assange, how does it feel to be free this evening? Well, it's very nice to be free for Christmas and to smell the fresh uh, air of Norfolk. Um, solitary confinement in the bottom of a Victorian prison is uh, a significant experience. In a way, it's an experience I'm glad that I've had. I've never been in prison, but I think it is important for every journalist actually writing about serious matters uh, to be in a prison. Uh, to understand what it is like for people in prison um, around the world. What do you intend to do now to clear your name? Well, I continue on with our, our work. Clearing my name is not the highest in, uh, task I have. The highest task I have uh, is to continue on uh, with my work. Uh, obviously, clearing my name is also uh, important, and uh, I will continue to do that. My legal team will continue to do that. We will press... Uh, the Swedish government to provide us uh, with evidence um, of the allegation, something that has been denied uh, to date. I have yet to receive a single page of anything ever uh, from uh, this uh, um, investigation um, uh, in English. Uh, and uh, my lawyers uh, in Sweden uh, only just recently, uh, with one secret court hearing, uh, took hold of 100 pages of material uh, in Swedish uh, that has yet to be uh, fully translated and, and given to me and that is only a small fraction of material. There is an attempt uh, to gag uh, my Swedish lawyer um, uh, and uh, indeed an application uh, as part of the expedition uh, proceedings to have me held incommunicado uh, in Sweden. Uh, we have also heard today um, from one of my US lawyers uh, yet to be confirmed, but a serious matter uh, that there may be a U.S. indictment uh, for espionage uh, for me uh, coming from a secret U.S. grand jury uh, investigation. What more can you tell us about that side, the U.S. Po prosecution? Uh, we only know the statements by Holder uh, and this rumour, which is yet to be confirmed. Obviously, it's extremely serious, and, and one of the concerns that we've had uh, since I've been in, in the U.K., uh, is whether the extradition proceeding to Sweden, which is occurring in a very strange and unusual way, uh, is actually an attempt to uh, get me into a jurisdiction uh, which will then make it easier to extradite me uh, to the United States. What sort of time frame are you looking at with that? While you're here? How, much, sorry, how much work do you hope to be doing on your case while you're here at Elegant Hall? Uh, why I am free, I am under house arrest. Uh, in a way that seriously um, interferes with my privacy uh, as, as investigative journalists dealing with the most sensitive uh, materials in the world and sensitive sources. Obviously, uh, that is a compromising position uh, for me to be in in relation to my work. Um, on the other hand, there is a certain amount of physical isolation uh, afforded by uh, my position here, but um, it is one that is going to require a very serious uh, understanding of the security uh, risks uh, to myself uh, and to our work. Um, but I have been uh, uh, in the public spotlight for a while now, so a lot of, do you, do you a lot of that security work has now uh, fallen to other people in our organisation. Yeah, do you think that sort of you being in the spotlight has actually got in the way of the message that you've been trying to give? Well, early on it, is, it has helped. I mean, uh, early on we have tried hard actually to get attention for the material that we have been releasing. Not as easy as you would think. Uh, and we have made the, if you like, the disclosure process um, something that is of interest to the, to the wider press in order to draw attention to the content. Um, now we're in a position where uh, both the content and the mechanism is of uh, significant interest uh, all over the place. There's uh, obviously um, serious attempts to take down the content by taking us down as an organisation uh, and take me down uh, as an individual. That's a matter of um, public record by um, 
uh, people in the United States, such as um, Gates, the Secretary uh, of Defense, um, uh, uh, Hillary Clinton, um, Gibbs, a White House spokesperson, and, and so on. Um, that's a, a path that I think is is sad for uh, the administration of the United States to be going down. I think it is becoming clear it is not a path that is acceptable uh, to the world community. Uh, certainly it is not acceptable to the people of Australia uh, or the people of Great Britain and to a, a large degree not acceptable to the people of Sweden as well, although the administration may be another matter. What sort of time frame are we looking at for the extradition hearings as far as you're concerned? Uh, I understand the next date is uh, somewhere uh, in January for the, the Swedish matter, for the US matter, uh, we don't know yet. January 11th. Can I just ask I think you we how you have actually are, are feeling, because uh, obviously you've had a, a long journey here today, it's been a very long day today, and uh, you're now facing the world's media, uh, and you're now about to go into Ellingham Hall for, uh, for, for Christmas. How are you dealing with that? Being in a situation of physical isolation in solitary confinement uh, has allowed me to consider um, the philosophy that I have espoused in this project and our actions uh, and uh, has not uh, altered my position. Rather, it has uh, confirmed to me personally that uh, we are on the right path uh, and has given me um, enough anger about the situation to last me a hundred years. How much do you think that maybe what's happening in Sweden is a diversionary Thank tactic? Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you for coming you. here and um, for waiting here. Thank you. So there we go. Julian Assange just arrived back then from London saying that he's going to continue his fight to clear his name and really questioning uh, whether what's happening in Sweden is really some kind of um, tactic to get him extradited to the United States. Obviously, uh, both of those uh, pros potential prosecutions underway at the same time. And he said that while he's been in solitary confinement in Wandsworth Jail, he's really had time to think about what he's doing. And it's only confirmed to him that what they've been doing with WikiLeaks in terms of these diplomatic cables that they've